Hello developers and welcome back to another episode of WebGenie. In today's video, we are going to create a gRPC application, a gRPC CRUD application where we will create, insert, delete and update a record. So we are not using any backend database. Uh, but we, we will try to implement a client and server gRPC application with all the CRUD operation. So as a client, as a service project, let us start creating a gRPC application project. So I have created a gRPC application project and I am going to start creating a CRUD operation. So in my proto file, the protos will be automatically created if you have uh, created a gRPC project. Now in that, I am creating a message to do and I am creating four methods. Create to do, read to do, update to do and delete to do. So the read to do and delete to do takes read uh, to do id as the input parameter so let us see how we are going to implement this as you can see i have not edited any uh, files that is automatically generated the greed dot proto file is automatically created when we create a gRPC application. Now the greeter service class is also automatically generated as, as soon as we create a gRPC client uh, serv server project. Now I am going to edit on this gRPC or the greeter service class. So here I am creating a method create to do so it is overriding the uh, method uh, which we have uh, created inside the uh, proto file so first i am creating a list to do's uh, which is of the type class to do now i am creating uh, integer variable new id and this one is uh, added as the request id and once this is ready we are going to add this request or this new id into the list so <clears throat> proto file does not recognize int so we have to rename this with, uh, data type as int 32 so now that error will be gone. Now let us start creating our other methods that is read uh, to do update and delete methods. So I am creating another method called read to do and in that I am passing the request id so it will um, go through the list and uh, takes the first element of the list as our request id so once this is found uh, it returns the id otherwise uh, RPC exception will be thrown like the item is not uh, uh, found or item not available.
similarly let us create our update to do so here uh, I am passing the to do uh, as the request again we are finding the uh, request ID from the list and then uh, the description or we can update it next is our delete element so the from the list the first element will be popped out and uh, it will be removed if the list is not null otherwise um, to do not found exception will be thrown then we need to import the google protobuf mt now the development of our server grpc server is complete so let us start building this application Once we run this application the local host uh, URL will be published so yes our server application is working fine now let us start creating a client so for that I am creating a basic console application created a console application and created a main program in this a main method in our program class so let us start implementing the uh, client methods so uh, we are creating a server address uh, variable or constant now uh, we, are, we have to create a channel as well as a client inside our uh, grpc client application before that we have to import some nuggets so let us do that first so open the tools and browse go to the browse and uh, search for grpc so we have to add grpc client I have added the latest version then grpc tools this is uh, for to build our protobuf class here and we have, I am also adding the grpc nuget here other than that we need to add the google protobuf so ideally it should be the same version as we are using inside the server project now I am copying the proto folder into my client project as well so yes that is copied here and I am updating my uh, CS project file and making the grpc services to client inside my grpc client project so this is an important step that we have to follow only then uh, it will be this project will be recognized as a grpc client so now we have the urls um, uh, and the nuggets imported so the errors will not be available now let us start implementing the methods
so i am calling all the methods uh, from my program class itself so uh, first i am calling the create to do method so i am adding a, a task to that that is description is to uh, i have created the description as complete assignment and this will be added so next next is to read this uh, using the uh, read to do async method so i am reading the to do element that is uh, created inside the create to do now let us start implementing our update method or let us start calling the update to do async method Finally, I am calling the delete to do method. So, in the delete to do method, uh, the ID that is created in uh, inside the uh, our create to do uh, method is called, and that is deleted. None of these methods work, then this GRPC exception or the RPC exception will be called. And once all this are completed, uh, we are shutting down the channel. So let us start running this program. If you like the video so far, please do consider subscribing to my channel and click on the bell notification icon so that you will receive all of my future videos. Do like, comment and share this video with all the programming enthusiasts you know. So thank you for supporting my channel. Let us uh, run our application. I have created a breakpoint and uh, let us see if it throws any error. So I have created a breakpoint inside the read to do method and I am trying to implement this again. So let us run our application. So it is not uh, recognizing the to-do which we have created inside our uh, to-do element uh, in the create async. So let us modify the read to-do element and create a console.read line uh, class uh, as well. 
Now let us try to implement this once again. So this is our basic to-do list application using the CRUD operation in GRPC. I hope you enjoyed watching this. So please do try this out on your own. Thank you so much. We'll come with another exciting video soon. Bye. Thank you.